Bitcoin has rallied up 313% since November 2022. And lagging not that far behind is Ethereum with its 299% move since June 2022. Why am I talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum? It's because I believe Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin and many altcoins in that next bullish market and in that next bullish move to the upside. Let's roll that intro and get right down into it. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video update. And today we are discussing Ethereum and the potential that Ethereum has for really significant gains in that next bullish market. Now, I know I've been on the record. I've said it many times before. I am a believer even right now that is saying that Ethereum is the most expensive shit coin out there. You can hate me for it. You can kind of disagree with me. That's fine. You can let me know in the comments down below. But ultimately, I think there is a fundamental shift, at least from an investor point of view. We know that usability of the Ethereum chain is quite difficult. It's got some tools there. It's great to build on. But from a user or an end user point of view, actually, it's quite difficult to build meaningful dApps on the ecosystem without having to use some form of layer two like Matic, for example, to really make it scalable. Now, when we kind of move all of those investors to one side and we start thinking about Ethereum just from a speculative investment point of view and not a use case point of view, we actually end up in a slightly different way of thinking. Now, yes, I still say it's a shit coin because sometimes it can cost you $300 to move $100, basically meaning you're going to lose $200 and have achieved absolutely nothing. Okay, that is the problem when you have a bidding system for gas fees on a blockchain technology such as Ethereum. But when we actually start thinking about ETH as an speculative investment choice, well, that problem isn't really there anymore. Okay, because you're not going to just have $100 of Ethereum that you've moved over to cold storage and kind of trying to push that back on to an exchange and, you know, it's going to cost you hundreds of dollars to do so. Instead, we're talking about investing thousands of dollars into ETH with the idea that actually that's going to be really explosive gains over time. Now, let's go into the charts here and start talking about Ethereum in a little bit of detail. Now, we know that the Bitcoin spot ETFs had a significant impact on the price action. We know that, you know, money going into the Bitcoin ETF shares does, in fact, have to be backed one to one with BTC, meaning dollars going into these shares, these Bitcoin spot ETF shares has to go into Bitcoin via spot. And we've seen significant amounts of demand for the Bitcoin spot ETF. And well, Ethereum is next. So ETH spot ETF, that is going to have a significant impact on the price of Ethereum. Now, we know that since ETH has had its upgrades and it's kind of gone into a deflationary model and it's kind of got staking and all these kind of wonderful things, these things do have an issue or do actually have an impact, I should say, on the supply elements when it comes to the Ethereum token. And so when we see deflationary and we see staking, this basically means the supply is getting squeezed, right? That supply that is being squeezed causes bullish movements if the demand increases. These are really key fundamental things we have to discuss and we have to understand and talk about if we are to understand the impact of a Bitcoin or an Ethereum spot ETF in the future. So the idea of, you know, these upgrades going to staking, going to smart uh, or the smart contract staking all the way through to um, you know, coming away and stepping away from proof of work to proof of stake, these things are really positive. They're bullish because it squeezes that supply. And of course, you know, as we get into bullish environments and more bullish times, there's more demand that comes in. Staking, shrinking the supply, increasing the demand, price will go up. But what we're talking about here is the Ethereum spot ETFs actually creating such significant surges to the upside in terms of demand that there's going to be very little supply actually out there that's going to be available for purchase. And this is where Bitcoin finds itself right now. Essentially, there is so much demand for the Bitcoin spot ETF that I think it's actually soaking up about 12 times more Bitcoin than is being mined daily. Okay, so just let that sink in. There's 12 
times more demand than the supply can handle for Bitcoin. And I think we're going to find ourselves in a very similar situation, if not greater, for Ethereum. You've got to bear in mind, there's a lot of use case around Ethereum. We don't like to mention it very often, but there is a lot of utility there. And that utility requires, you know, some form of, you know, supply and demand metrics to it. And so when we see the increase in demand through an Ethereum spot ETF, we're going to really see a significant shrinkage of the supply and an increase in that demand. And I think we're going to be going to prices that a lot of people just simply wouldn't want to believe. And older me would have been one of them. I, older me would have said, there's no way that Ethereum would be going to $20,000. And yet here I sit today saying that I think that's a real possibility that Ethereum can, in fact, rally up higher than 10,000 and potentially even has that $20,000 target. So let's jump back to the charts and discuss where I think things could be heading here for Ethereum. We can see the 299 uh, in terms of percentage so far, but if we zoom out of this, we can really see the significance of this move. This low correction here for ETH, it didn't come down nearly where it needed to, in my opinion, only 81%. And this was after an initial surge to the upside, which if we take the low, which was actually in December of 2018, all the way up to our peak here, it was 5,851%. Now, don't get me wrong, 5,851% isn't really that lot in the crypto space, considering you had people like Cardano rallying up over 20,000. We had Matic, Polygon's Matic, the layer two for Ethereum rallying up over 45,000%. We have to understand that Ethereum's 5,000% was great, it was good, probably safer bet in terms of crypto if there is such a thing, but ultimately not as good as many of the altcoins. Now, where do I think we're likely to go? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a repetition of this 5,000%, which means that we could be looking very, very juicy numbers uh, on Ethereum. So let me go ahead and show you, uh, show you this actually through... Um, through a Fibonacci extension tool, because it's going to be a little bit easier to kind of show you what that looks like with the Fibonacci numbers rather than just using the uh, percentage moves here. But as you can kind of see, there's this potential, this little sweet spot right up here. And this is crazy. Um, considering Bitcoin hasn't been this high, it's unlikely that, you know, Ethereum is going to hit this high, right? But we also have to bear in mind that we think that Bitcoin is going to exceed uh, some of these numbers. Now, this particular area is basically saying $52,000 to $138,000. I think that's a bit of hopium there. And I'll kind of say that on the on this video today that, you know, $52,000 ETH is very unlikely. It's a number that's inside the charts here. We can see technically why that might be the case, but it's very unrealistic. I don't think that's really what's going to happen. So let's jump back in. Where do we actually see the price action heading? Well, there's a few key areas here that I want to kind of call out, right? We have our 0 0.618, okay? This comes in at a very nice juicy number just down here at $11,058. You can see it right there. So that's looking pretty good to start with. Then, of course, we can see a little bit higher. We have a 702. Bitcoin loves a 702 Fibonacci level. It comes in at 15,000. Um, but for me, the main one that I would like to call out is going to be the 786 Fib scale, uh, which actually comes in at 21,970. And um, we are sat a little bit higher here on the chart for this one. So you can see that there's three key areas that really I think are the, the main focus for Ethereum as we start to see Ethereum spot ETFs start to potentially rally on up, right? And so with all of this kind of information at our fingertips and kind of, you know, thinking about where the price is today and where the price could potentially be going, we have to consider that actually, yeah, there's definitely some room for Ethereum to grow. And that growth for ETH could be very, very lucrative for many retail investors who are not wanting to open themselves up to risks of proper degen plays and with some of the kind of newer projects out there that have a higher percentage chance of failure um, with what they are trying to do. They're looking for something maybe a little bit safer, but still has some very juicy gains associated with them. And that is where Ethereum really kind of kicks in here. So as you can kind of see, our three hundred. 
299% growth at the moment is kind of really only part way to where it's heading, which could see an $11,000 B uh, Ethereum here coming in at 1,159% approximately. Up towards that 15,000, we're talking about 1,600%. And of course, up here, 2,387% approximately at the $21,970 level. So Ethereum shows some interesting promise and it's very unusual because it's not something I thought I would be sat here saying to you guys in a video saying that Ethereum might be one of the best plays in that next kind of big surge to the upside under the idea of Ethereum spot ETFs. I do not think we are likely to see an Ethereum spot ETF get denied. We might see, see things getting delayed as it was with Bitcoin. But I think it is an inevitability and we could be looking at some very juicy gains for ETH. And of course, as a result of Ethereum rallying up like this, I would not be surprised to see Ethereum layer twos or Bitcoin layer twos rocketing alongside it. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this in the comments down below. And why don't you check out this video here where I'm discussing some interesting things around Bitcoin.